Hi and welcome back to my workshop. This is Lucas, a value maker in Tremona. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that I get asked quite often, let's say often enough that I decide to make a video about it. And that is, where do I get the images, the pictures such as this, that I then use as an inspiration to make the molds for my instruments? As always, if you're interested in this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to hit the like button for more. There are some different alternatives, different ways to get these images, and I'm going to try to list them from the most expensive to the least expensive. However, uh, you're going to see that I'm going to be struggling a bit with this along the way. The books about a particular instrument can be an excellent option when trying to replicate not only the model of an instrument, but if not some particular details too. They usually have a lot of very specific technical data, such as the arching, the thickness, some varnishing retouches, and many other things, and high quality pictures of the particulars of the instrument as well. They also provide a very detailed history of the instrument, so they're amazing if you're interested in that too. It's important to be careful though when buying one of these books, as they do not always come with a one-to-one -one scale image of the instrument, which means that then the photo will have to be enlarged. And while this is possible, the quality of the image gets severely damaged during the process as well as deformed. So if the main purpose of the purchase is that one-to-one -one scale image of the instrument, then these books might not be the right option if they don't come with it. And even if these books might not be the most expensive of the options, even if they can be over 100 euros, they probably are in a price per instrument range scale. The price range of these books is massive. You can have something like this Giuseppe Ornati book, which costs something like 150, 200 euros, 250. I really can't remember the exact price right now. Uh, but also you can have something like the whole Stradivari collection, which are eight volumes. And by the way, I would love to make a review on those one day, if only I could afford them, because the full price of them is over 4,000 euros. So, you know, if you want me to make a review on them, you can just send them to me. I'm completely okay with it. Now, no seriousness, the same thing I said for the previous section can also apply here. And that is that these books may not have a one-to-one -one scale image of the instrument, but usually the most expensive ones do. Of course, I'm not going to have all the same details about each instrument, like the books discussed in the previous section. But they can be an excellent alternative if you're interested in, for example, a particular maker, or if you want to have violins, violas, and cellos in the same place, as many of these books have them. They usually have some history about the maker or period, but not so much about each specific instrument. And while they mostly have all the necessary technical information to make a copy of the outline of the instrument, the f-host, the scroll, and etc., they will not have all the technical data and images of the details of each instrument. Even if price per instruments, these are probably more expensive than the books about specific regions, maker, or even the one of a specific instrument, they are probably the most affordable option if you just want to focus on one instrument without all the details, but with all the necessary technical information to make a copy of the model of the instrument. They are almost always in a one-to-one -one scale, which means that they are very easy to work with, and the price for them is around 15 to 25 euros, which makes them a far more accessible alternative. Some of the museums, auction houses, music schools, foundations, and etc. have high quality images of the instruments they possess, and in some cases they even have some of the measurements too. The tough part about this is research, as sometimes these images can be quite hard to find, and usually they have to be scaled using AutoCAD or a similar program. I made a video about this before, so I'm going to put the link to it somewhere in the description. Another great source for online pictures is the auction house Tarisio. They have a massive source of pictures and some information about the instrument. The only disadvantage is that to access these pictures, it is necessary to pay for a subscription. 
but I think the price of it is only $100 a year. And considering the wide variety of makers and images that they have of each instrument, I think it is by far probably the cheapest of all the alternatives. I hope you find this video useful and I'm curious to know, do you have books about instruments? If so, are you a maker, a musician, as I'm wondering if it's only us makers who buy them. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to hit the like button if you haven't done so already. And don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram, Fabro Violins, if you're interested in more violin making content. With that said, I'll see you next time.